Alright, so the Xbox One has been out for quite some time now, and there are a ton of different accessories to choose from. This is Brennan with BMC Tech, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys 5 of my favorite accessories for the Xbox One. Let's get right into the video. The first accessory we're going to be taking a look at is the Xbox One Media Remote. Now this is definitely a must have accessory for somebody who consumes a lot of media on their Xbox, and let's face it, most of us spend a lot of time in our day consuming some type of media, whether it's binge watching Netflix or listening to Spotify. This remote is actually much more convenient than using your traditional Xbox controller. It is powered by a AAA which keeps the remote on 24-7, and a feature that I really like is the buttons light up when you grab the remote. They're actually activated by motion, which is pretty cool and definitely helpful in darker environments. Now the design looks pretty good, there's a nice black finish covering the whole remote and I really like the material that Microsoft used here, it feels very grippy and adds for a really nice feel in the hand. Like I said before, if you're somebody who consumes a lot of media on your Xbox One, you definitely want to think about picking this up. For only $25, you really can't go wrong. The second accessory we're going to be taking a look at is the Xbox One Play and Charge Kit. In the box you get a rechargeable lithium ion battery pack along with a 9 foot micro USB cable. Now the battery will be fully charged in just under 4 hours and Microsoft claims you can get up to 30 hours of use in a single charge. And I will say that's pretty accurate, I only have to charge my controller every other week. Now the charging cable, like I said before, is 9 feet long so it's pretty convenient if you would like to play and charge at the same time. But if you're somebody who doesn't want to charge your controller while you're playing, that's okay because if your Xbox is set to always on, you can plug in your controller and your controller will charge while your Xbox is off. With all that being said, unless you're somebody who really likes throwing away money on AA batteries, I would definitely recommend this accessory. It'll save you a lot of money in the long run and you won't regret it. Now the third accessory I have in store for you guys is the Turtle Beach X01 Air Force. Now this is one of Turtle Beach's budget gaming headsets, but don't be fooled by the price. I've had this thing for well over a year and it has performed quite well. A couple of cool features this headset offers is built-in mic monitoring, which is a really nice feature and I do enjoy it a lot. And also there is a removable mic, so if you want to just chill out and listen to music on your phone, you can do just that. This is a great accessory for somebody who wants a more immersive experience while gaming. You can hear every little thing that goes on in-game, and it is definitely helpful when playing games like Call of Duty or even Halo. As far as design goes, they look pretty nice. They are all black and there is a neon green color inside the ear cuffs. Now this is definitely a smaller headset, but they do actually go over the ear, which I think is pretty nice. As far as sound quality goes, I think they sound just fine. But when comparing them to a more high caliber headset like Astro's, you may be a little disappointed. But at this price point, I definitely think they get the job done. Now the fourth and probably the most expensive accessory on this list is the Scuf One Custom Controller. I don't even really know where to start. This controller is just pure awesome. There are so many things you can customize from the triggers to the analog sticks, the face buttons. You can even change the color of the LED inside the Xbox button. Now I don't want to get too into detail. I could spend all day talking about this. All around this controller screams quality and although it may be pretty expensive, I definitely think it's worth it. Now if you really can't swallow spending almost $200 on a controller, there is a cheaper alternative that Scuff offers. You can actually take your current Xbox One controller and send it into them and they will scuff it out for you starting as low as $60. Anyways, if you're somebody who really takes gaming seriously and you want to leg up on the competition, I would definitely recommend checking this controller out. Now the last accessory that I will be showing you guys is the WD My Passport Ultra. Now today's games are getting bigger and bigger and the standard Xbox One just doesn't have the storage capacity to stand up to it. And that's why I went out and bought an external hard drive. Not only does this increase my overall storage, but it also increases read and write speeds, which in turn equals shorter loading time. I bought the 2TB model because I figured that was enough storage for me, however there are a few different storage options and colors to choose from. Now if you are shopping around for an external hard drive and you don't want to buy the one I show you in this video, just make sure it uses USB 3.0 so it will be compatible with your Xbox. So if you're somebody who has a lot of games and you don't want to run out of storage in the near future, I would highly suggest picking up one of these. 
As this video comes to a close, I just want to say thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, and if you didn't enjoy it, feel free to hit the dislike button. If you like what you see, please subscribe for future content, I would greatly appreciate it. And if you're interested in picking up any of these accessories, I'll leave links in the description below. And as always, this has been Brian with BMC Tech, I'll see you guys in the next video.